guys. This is Betts here from Final Boss. Today we're going over how to become a champion. Now, before we go over how to become a champion, let's talk about why you should become a champion. This is for all my Town Hall 9s, Town Hall 10s, aspiring Town Hall 8s. Check this out. So for all you those who don't know this, becoming a champion, you get the 2000 gem That is pretty cool. Who doesn't want 2,000 gems? I know I want 2,000 gems. Along with the gems, the rewards and achievements, you also get bragging rights. Getting to that top division of the game and saying you are part of the best of the best as far as trophies go. So without further ado, let's talk about how to become a champion. The Town Hall 9s. It is a little bit harder for you guys to get to the Champions League than it is for Town Hall 10s. You have the Infernos and, you know, all the other perks of being a Town Hall 10, like free spells. Town Hall 9s, I'm just going to say, don't get offline. Keep those barracks boosted because you will get attacked. And you guys are prime targets for those Town Hall 10s trying to get to Champions. Okay, Town Hall 10s, guys, this is very important. Always keep your traps rearmed. Always, always, always keep your traps rearmed. And always keep that clan castle full. I normally just request about wizards and archers. But always keep that clan castle full to help stop defense, uh, stop attacks on your base. and lightning and then freeze but notice he missed my inferno which is a big error on his part use the jump spell Tekka jumped in you can't see it and then he jumped back out why did they jump back out because there's so many objects around my base around my town hall area that the Tekka has no choice but to jump back out and clean up the things around it so they didn't take the bait on that jump spell is why this base is so effective and they don't get a star and they give me 20 trophies that is why defense is so important fast forward through this didn't get anything so like I was saying guys the defense is going to win you 80% of your trophies guys Offensive attacks are definitely important, but they're not as important as the defense. Here's my attack strategy. I'm going to use, for some attacks, I use Go White. 
or go with other attacks. I'm using the Drag Lava Loon. I like the Drag Lava Loon attack. It's very effective. I have other videos on my channel about it. Check them out. Another thing I like to do is, I don't know if you noticed in my video on this replay, if I pause it, let's see. See these little, I have tombstones, the little dark lakes are tombstones. I leave those there. It acts as a decoy, so other people think that my clan castle is empty because it looks like I just got attacked. So obviously, you know, the clan castle comes out and it looks like I just got attacked. So I leave it there. So people think my clan castle is empty, but it's really not. It's a trick. It's good to use. Try it out. Okay, in the last part about going to champions, guys, be persistent with your attacks. Don't give up, guys. It takes patience if you haven't gotten there. It's a journey. It's worth the wait. I hope these tips helped out. And keep pushing for that champion division. Be the best of the best. Don't give up. You got hope these tips helped you guys out. Until the next time, guys.